So hello guys, let's continue with our testing. So today uh, we will be, I will be showing to you what is and uh, how to do an integration testing. So we're done with the unit test in our previous video, so we will do this now. Uh, I I'm already done with the code. I just comment it out so we can go to it uh, line per line. So first, uh, we will be using Axios package. Uh, this package will uh, enable us to make an uh, HTTP request. So just install this uh, Axios here. And also uh, for efficient configuration, we will be using uh, env variables is here our base url is localhost then the port is 24 so i also made a text file for the env so you can just put your credentials here <coughs> so after that uh, we will make an object which will hold our functions for uh, for our http request so example is for our get method I mean <coughs> this route which will select and we will get um, all the employees this will be the object so uh, select employees then uh, async function then actuals get then our URL which is here and then our endpoint which is here in our routes <clears throat> then basic auth for our authentication which is also in our NB here hello and QWERTY then that's it for our select uh, function next for our post uh, for inserting employees is the object <clears throat> I mean the property so we will be passing an object info here which will be the data for our request so example if we compare it to the postman the variable info must uh, will be holding this uh, JSON here so just spread here spread the object then post request to our uh, endpoint authentication same so that's for our post request for our update here is the property so we'll be passing an id and an object of info so if we compare to the postman here's the patch request so this is the id and then the JSON, JSON info here. So it's just the same. So patch the uh, method is patched, then our endpoint slash the ID, which is passed here, and then spread the object here. So that's for our update. Then for the delete. So we will be only passing an ID. So the method is delete. Then our endpoint slash ID authentication. So if the if in the postman, so it's this ID will be passed. So we're done with our for uh, with our code functions. So we'll just export this object routes object for us to use in our test. So it's done. I will just remove this comment when I will push in the repository. So we're done with our functions. So we so we will jump now in the unit uh, the integration test. <clears throat> so I also comment comment it out for us to go line by line.
So this before all is not applicable anymore because uh, you must have an API running for, uh, I mean, you must have a running API to test the integration testing, not like the unit test that you can test it without running your API. So you must have a test environment and in endpoint. So it's not applicable anymore. Just remove that. So it's just the same with the unit test. Let's create this test suite. So first is we will be testing the get function, this function here. So let's test here. We'll just copy, then explain it. So for our test, first test is select employees. So the routes which is we required from this, I mean we store it in this variable. Then that select employees which is routes then these select employees I don't know the term but it's like that so let's test it so in my package JSON I create a script here I test for the integration testing so let's try <clears throat> so expected status is 200 so same with the postman, 200. So let's just console log the rest that status. Now for efficient test, just expect the status of your request. Uh, you can expect uh, anything you want. Just, just for simplicity, I just use the status. So let's try again. I have something to show you. So this is 200 here. So say it is, uh, it is passed because 200 here. So this 200 here is from our controller, which is here. The status code 200 here. So if I replace this with 201, so our test must be error because the expected uh, code is not 200 anymore. There. So expected is 200, then 201. So when we try a postman, this 200 here will be 201. There. So that's. I want to show you that so what you expect is from your controller the status code just return it to 200 so that's all for our get so next is for our inserting for our post request I mean so this is our post request just copy this. So this uh, post request, uh, all fields have value. So all the the JSON has value. Here I just use a random string, so it's not hard coded. So here is our object, and then here is our function. So routes that add employees, which is here, and we will be passing an object info here info then the status must be 201 which is here in our controller the status is 201 so let's try I mean let's check the postman first the last ID is 39 so after this test it must be 40 so let's try So it's done. So let's try to get. Boom! There, 40. H13. Dun, 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 dun. So our test is successful.
201. So that's yeah. Uh, let's console log data for the status. So press the 201. So then 201. So successful. So when we select again, it is 41. Nice. So we're done with the post request. So next is the update. I mean, never mind. Uh, uh, post request with required field missing. So in our entity, which is here, inserting. So first name and last name and age must be, so, uh, must be not not be null. So here there is no last name. So the error, I mean the code must be uh, 400, which is here in our controller, here 400 for bad request. So let's try again. So the last ID here is 41. So this post request must be error. So there's the error, press enter last name. And then, so I console log the error, which is here. In the catch part so please enter last name status cross 400 so that's correct so when we try for 404 not found let's try if it's error there so the expected is for and I mean expected is 404 then receive is 400 so error so that's for the wired missing fields so you can also try this uh, employee already exist you can also create a unit test for that I mean integration test then you will be expecting the same status code which is 400 because it will throw an error and in our controller there is an error it will return always 400 status so it's done with the post so next is the update test so in the update part is First is we will be selecting an employee to be updated. So here is just I select the last employee inserted. So sample if we run a test, the ID I mean the employee that will be updated is always the last employee inserted. So first is we select and then we get the ID of the last employee then that we will be passing in our update employees function so in the update employees function is the parameter is an ID and the object info so here is our ID here and then the object info here with all the data first name last name and age so the status goes uh, I mean the status code is 200 sorry for that because here in our controller it's 200 so let's test so it's passed so the last employee must have an age of 9 because in our insert the age is 13 so let's check there you can also notice that the created at and the updated at is already not the same because it is already updated. Here, this is from the post request, so the created at and updated at is the same. It's automatically uh, inserted by SQLize. So we're done with the update. I mean, perfect scenario update. So here we will be testing uh, missing required fields again. So it's just the same, uh, select the employee, then get the ID, 
So if you have trouble getting the data, just try to console log, console log. Uh, here, the variable. Because it will be stored here. Then I just map the data. For example, I just console log this. For example, ID, we get the ID and the object with no first name. So it's just the same for Android status. So we will see what is the return of this select employee here. So uh, successful. So here is the error, the center last name in our post request. Enter last name. Oh, it didn't save. You might let's try again. Let's try again. I will comment this out first. So we only have we only have one test. Red fields are missing. I just want to show you the value of this. And there. Here is the value of this function. I mean variable from this function. So I just map the amp that data that view, which is if we compare in our postman here view and the value of those array is the object of employees object of employees here and then I just get the length this is an array so I just get the final I mean the last index then get the ID here dot ID so must be if I sample if I change this must fail because the status is not 400 anymore there so we're good with the update just remove the comment lastly is our delete request okay, delete. so in our delete uh, request status is 200 so first the same with the update, select an employee to delete and then run this delete function which is here, the parameter is an id, it's the id, so status 200. First let's select here, <coughs> the last id is 45, so there is one post request, so 46 and then that 46 id will be deleted. So let's try. There. It's just an error, control log error. So successful, pass all. So when we select, there's no 46 here because it is deleted. So when I remove this delete, the next ID there must be 47 because it is auto increment let's try, let's check I mean so successful there are 47 because the 46 ID is already deleted so that's all for the integration testing if you have questions just comment out uh, I mean co comment below so thank you guys